So here we are in our Azure portal. Let's create a new VM. Let's go to create virtual machine. I'll choose the same VM which we have created for domain controller. I'll name it as VM image. That's in the East US region as well. And the image we are going, we have to choose is Windows 10 Enterprise Multi-Session. Uh, if you go on and search in the marketplace, which is Windows 10, you can see the multi-session plus 365, Office 365 as well. Let me choose this. So you can see the different options. Um, the latest one at the moment is version 2004. You can choose anything right now. Just for the demo purpose, I'm going to choose 1909. Okay. I need to provide a username and password. Right, let's go on to the disk. <clears throat> we are keeping everything as it is. In the networking, um, yep. Let me choose the same subnet and virtual network. Advance, I will leave everything as default. Okay, so the validation. Let me see what's required here. Oh yeah, we need to confirm. So you need to check little things. So it's just confirming that you have eligible Windows 10 license with multi-tenant hosting rights. Okay, just go next, next, next. The validation is passed, so let me create it. Okay, so it will take a minute. Once it gets completed, I'll come back to this video. Thank you. Okay, so our new virtual machine is ready. And you can see it's running under the same resource group which we have used for the domain controller and same region, East US. Now it's time to RDP into this virtual machine and then configure some more FS logics settings and then we will generalize this virtual machine. So here we are in our virtual machine. Uh, so now we need to prepare this machine for our host pool image. So the first thing we need to do is to install FS logics agent which I have already downloaded it from Microsoft documentation. So if you search uh, download and install FS logics, you will get this page. And I just did it from here. So that's on my desktop. Let me extract that. And yep. All right, so we need to go into X64 release and there is a FS logics setup. So let me run that. Okay, so that has been installed and it's saying you need to restart your computer. So let me restart my virtual machine and I'll come back to it. Okay, my FS Logics agent has been installed in this virtual machine. I've already restarted the virtual machine. Now the second part is we need to go into the registry. Um, you can search registry in the search and I've already opened it here. So under the local machine, um, if you go into the software, you will see FS Logics key here. 
and if you open the FS Logics key, you should see the profiles key as well. If you don't, then you need to create it from here. Okay. Now under the profile, um, we need to create one D word. We'll name it as enabled. Okay, I renamed it as enabled and we need to just put the value of one and then click OK. And we need to create one multi string value and we will name it as VHD location. Let me rename it. And when you open this, it will ask you the value data. So the location is your file share location. So this is my storage account name, dot file, dot core, dot windows, dot net, backslash my file share name, which is avdfs. I've already copied it from the Azure portal. So let's paste it here. Click OK. You get this message, but don't worry. Just click OK. All right. So now our virtual machine and the image is ready to go for the host pool. So if you want to install any other applications for the users, um, so all the users will get that application. Like if you want to install any line of business application or any users requirements applications, all the users will get the same applications. And let's do a thing. Let me install something for a test. Um, let me install 7-zip just to test that everyone will get it or not. Let me install this 64-bit. Okay, where is it gone? Let me click. Right, let's okay. Let me install this. Okay, that's installed. So if you go into the start menu, you will see the 7-zip file manager. So we will test it when we apply and when we give um, users access to the virtual desktop for this image, they should get this 7-zip option available there for, for them as well. Now we need to generalize this image. So let's get prepared for that. Okay, so then now it's time to generalize this image. So to generalize, we need to go into the C drive, then Windows, and you should get System32. And under System32, you should have something called SysPrep. So we need to open that as administrator and make sure you click on this option generalize and this should be by default and instead of shutdown options reboot you need to select shutdown okay so let's click OK and it will run and shut it down and then we have to go into the Azure portal to stop this image. Okay, so now we are on Azure portal. So to capture this image and use it as our reference image for Azure virtual desktop, we need to make sure the status of this virtual machine is not only stopped, it should be stopped and deallocated. So for that, we just need to click on stop and just click OK. This should take a couple of minutes.
Okay, so it took a minute for the status to become deallocated. And now we should able to capture this image. So let's click on capture. Now it's asking the basic questions like where you want to put this image on. So I will choose the same resource group, VMRG. And now if you want, uh, you can put it in the shared image to shared image gallery. Like in big organization, um, if you put it in the shared image gallery, you can read here, you can use in multiple regions. But for this demo purpose, I'll just choose no capture only manage image. I'm using only one region at the moment, which is East US. And I'll leave these default or let me click on automatically delete this virtual machine after creating the image and it will ask you to give a name of the image so i will leave by default as it is and let's go to tag and review and create let's pass the validation so let me create it now it's going to take a couple of minutes and i will come back to it when it's done thank you okay so the deployment is complete so now to search our image you can just search images click on images and you will see our reference images here saved in under the images so now we can use this image um, to deploy our virtual desktop and if you go into the virtual machine as well the other virtual machine which we have created has been deleted because we have already took the image out of it and put it under the images now quickly we will go to our steps so step 9 is done we have created a new vm and generalized the image and now it's time to go for step 10 and create the host pool